Next month will be the one year anniversary of the Sandy Hook Elementary shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. Yesterday, local law enforcement agencies teamed up to hold an active shooter presentation for school administrators throughout our viewing area. Several high school students were used in the shooting scenario, and though what you're about to watch was only a simulation, it still brought out some emotions for those involved. It was really real for me. Uh, it was almost scary real that this could happen. The uh, initial 911 call comes into the dispatch reporting an active shooter here at the school. Active shooter at Woodlawn School. The uh, dispatch pages it out to local law enforcement. County and city, and there's going to be one male shooter, one male shooter. Uh, those officers respond, and while they're responding to the scene, this scenario is set up to where the shooter is walking down the hallway, uh, discharging the firearm. As a student's on a cell phone talking to the 911 dispatcher. Negative caller just advising of an older male. It really uh, brought out my emotions, thinking how unbelievably sad it would be if this would happen in one of our schools. It made you think of this is this this could happen. Well, this is extremely important. It brings a new safety plan for the school corporations. Um, this is something that you know many years ago we didn't have to worry too much about, but it is something that's happening today across the country. I, I would have never thought when I started this uh, in the 70s, started educating kids, that I would have to worry about training people for active shooters. About 50 administrators from school corporations throughout White, Benton, Tippecanoe, and Newton counties participated in yesterday's active shooting presentation and educational seminar.